in terms of open data, or if there is open data in the So my name is Nanka Bukur, I represent Soros Foundation here, and I coordinate the program Transparency in Good Governance. So we are promoting basic access to information here. Um, so before talking about, sorry, <laughs> before talking about open data in roaming, I would like to talk a little bit about access to information in roaming. So starting from 1991, we have the right, citizens have the right to access public information uh, granted by the Romanian constitution. It's only for citizens because taxpayers and the officials, the public authorities have the rights to correctly, have the obligation to correctly inform uh, citizens about the public affairs. Law 544 from 2001 regarding free access to information of public interest allows any interested person to request information from the public bodies, but the format in which this information will be provided to the citizens or to any person who asks for that information is not an open format, but any format that the public institution has. Um, another problem with the law is that it makes public authorities have to uh, disclose information, uh, only some pieces of information uh, proactively, and the rest of the information has to be requested. Also, information of public interest is all the information uh, detained by the public authority or resulted from the activities of public authorities uh, without the, not subject to classification. So any information that's subject to classification, privacy or industrial or commercial property rights is, is excluded. Um, and because um, the main characteristic of open data is the reuse. We have the law uh, 109 from 2007, which implemented the directive from uh, 2003, as Bogdan said earlier, uh, regarding the reuse of public sector information. But uh, this, direct, this direct, this law, uh, in order to reuse the information, you have to be granted the permission by the public authority to reuse the information, and also you have to pay a fee if used in commercial purposes. Also, the information is not necessarily granted in an open format. So, all of these laws um, don't uh, prevent or are not an obstacle in uh, making the institutions publish data in an open format, uh, but they don't oblige them to do so. Uh, but we still have uh, an open data policy in Romania, or the beginning of it. Since Romania joined the Open Government Partnership, Bogdan also uh, talked about. So in September 2011, um, our ministry, then Minister of Affairs, uh, Teodor Blaconski, expressed in behalf of the Romanian government the intent to join OGP. It was more because of political international pressure and the fall of Hillary Clinton. In April 2012, the Romanian government has adopted the National Action Plan for OGP through a memorandum after uh, the civil society pushed for a drafting uh, more ambitious and action plan for Romania. So there are two types of commitments assumed in this uh, action plan from 2012 till 2014. Um, so ones that concern opening up public sector information and open data, and one type of, type of commitment uh, regarding the development of e-governance e services. Uh, I'm going to talk just about the commitments related to open data. So the objective of the action plan, the Romanian action plan, is to increase the quality of public services, to increase public integrity, and the efficient management of the public resources. Um, Romania has committed to open up public sector information, and it has also provided the definition in the action plan. And the definition provided is open public data is data produced or held by public institutions put at citizens' disposal for free, free to access, reuse, and redistribute. As main characteristics, data can be processed by automatic means. It is available in an open format, which means that no one has exclusive control over it and under an open license, not subject to intellectual property rights or sui generis rights. Um, but the, the action plan has some important um, shortcomings. No resources were allotted for the implementation of the action plan. So the state didn't uh, allow any kind of resources, any financial resources, to make this, this plan a reality. Uh, again, it is not clear what institution is responsible for implementing uh, the open data commitments in Romania. Because um, in various stages of adopting the action plan, the Ministry of Justice was involved in drafting the action plan. The Secretary General of the government was involved uh, assuming that it will disseminate the information to all of the institutions. And 
data. Also, the government program for 2013, 2016 uh, had um, talked about the creation of a department for online services and design, which has actually been created recently. And this department should be, among others, in charge of leading open data efforts, empowering citizens to identify, download, and use public data sets held or published by public institutions, monitoring the implementation of OPP and the Digital Agenda for Romania. The digi Digital Agenda for Romania also has commitments and also makes reference to the reuse of public sector information. So one of the projects so far of the Department of, for Online Services in terms of open data is the state by open state budget, which is actually um, a joke, kind of. Um, civil society organizations have demanded for the state budget to be open and available. Now, because it was recently, or it's still um, going to be adopted by the parliament. Um, instead, they said, okay, you, we're gonna give you the, the open budget. Instead, they made that uh, website where they publish only very few information. True, it's in an open format, but it's, it's very little information um, about the state budget. Now, ongoing process, so we're going to keep an eye. Uh, another document, national document, that uh, makes reference to open data is the National Anti-Corruption Strategy. So um, it sets as an objective enhancing the institutional transparency by increasing the availability of open public data. However, the measures don't concern open data, but give government solutions and respecting free access to information and transparency. Um, nonetheless, the Ministry of Justice said that in March, the National Anti-Corruption Strategy, National Anti-Corruption Portal will be ready. And all the reports from all public institutions, more than 1,000 city halls, I guess, um, will be published in an open format, corruption reports. So, we have, we have open data in Romania. Um, we have some data which is technically open, not legally open, uh, like uh, some data on the National Bank of Romania website and some data on the Parliament website. Um, there were the community of volunteers, among which of IT volunteers we have here present, uh, have developed some nice apps with public data, not open data, but data either available uh, online, either requested from public institutions and uh, put in manually. So we have Hartapolitici.ro, uh, which is an app that gathers uh, data from the Parliament's website, and it is about uh, parliamentarian activity. If they go to sections in the Parliament, uh, news from the mainstream media about a certain uh, member of the deputy chamber or uh, in a user-friendly user uh, interface. Then we have politicalcolors.pro, which is an application, a map, that um, actually presents the regions in Romania in, um, affiliated to a certain white color uh, in order, in uh, reference to the political affiliation of the public authority. So, Vasile can tell you more about it.
data movement in Romania. And when uh, nothing, uh, nobody knew about open data, now at least I think we have um, managed to make progress. And at least the, we have it in the government. So, I mean, there are only strategies and only documents. But if civil society and business sector work together and citizens as well, and we demand our data, because open data is not just a public service, it's actually the right of the citizen. Uh, I believe that we can make it happen and we can actually uh, help in the implementation or make the, these action plans a reality. So um, if you do want open data, uh, 